Here's how to make a Starbucks Frappuccino at home, whether it's the caramel ribbon crunch frap, java chip frap, caramel frap, matcha cream, vanilla bean, pumpkin spice. First, you need xanthan gum. This is just a flavorless powder you can get off of Amazon. It acts as a binding agent to improve the texture of the frappe. And yes, they use this in their frappe mix at Starbucks. Combine a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum and two tablespoons of water together and let it sit for about five minutes. It should make this really gummy, thick texture. Next, you need instant coffee. I like this via instant one from Starbucks. Do not add liquid coffee like cold brew, iced coffee, or Keurig coffee to your frappes. They're gonna be way too watery. Add that to your blender with milk and whatever syrup or sauce you want that frappe to be. This is pumpkin pie for a pumpkin pie frappe. Add your xanthan gum mixture and ice and blend for 60 to 90 seconds until it's nice and smooth. Then just add your toppings, whatever drizzle or whipped cream you like, and you have a perfect delicious Starbucks 